necessarily have to win, but they have to win because of the points. But it's definitely going to be a very crazy learning experience. It is an uphill climb for the side of Liab, and we'll see how they look to start that here. Going up against PSG, going to be on your blue side, Liab on the red. We already see that Kogma ban once again. Rex may not like playing against that in the mid lane, or maybe they're just having some bad scrims against it. Who knows? But for PSG, going to be targeting away a little bit of Rex's favorites as they get away the Zoe in mid, as well as that set being banned out away from the side of the game. Yeah, right now, set has been one of the primary bans for both sides, considering the fact it can be flexed into three different roles. Actually, make that a four except for the AD carry position. But yeah, so far for Liab, removing the Kalista away from Unified and possibly maybe even uh, for Hanabi at top side. So now, no Kalista for uh, Unified. And like you mentioned, we maybe there's a, a secret Hanabi pickup that we don't know about. <laughs> for Rex though, his champion pool already being hit rather hard. Don't Ooh. see that Twisted Fate ban, though, coming out just yet, but does mean we won't see his Zoe nor the Karma, which has been the second and third most picked up for him when it comes to mid lane. Now, final ban for Liab. What do they not wish to see up against them? They say, you know what? 200 mm -hmm. years, sit down, don't wish to see you. Aphelios not going to be available here for Unified. Yeah, the name of the game so far for at least the patch that we have now has been always Ash versus Ezreal or <laughs> Ash versus Ophelios. And PSG getting that first pick Twisted Fate priority for Tank. Now the biggest question for me is what will Rex use to match that global presence that TF is going to be? Yeah, that's a blind pick, TF. You kind of have the uh, pick of the litter when it comes to this exact matchup on what you want to do. Interesting that they themselves might go for the Ezreal. Don has had a little bit more carry success when he played something along the lines of an Ash. We have not seen him have what you would call a pop-off Ezreal game just yet when it comes to summer. Yeah, so far has picked it four times um, in comparison to the Ash. Mostly would just cycle through those AD carry. Mocha, though, had a very, very great... Um, Great bard game when they came to face off, I believe, up against AHQ at that time. So high expectations again on this bard pick. All right, so Mocha gets something that he can roam around with as well as be an engager. We also saw it do well when they were playing up against Resurgence, able to catch out members on the roam. So we'll see whether or not they're able to do that once again. Does mean though for PSG River, be able to lock in the graves as that's just something we've just not seen really doi doi have in his arsenal and does also mean unified is going to be picking up the ash here in this matchup yeah usually you know a lot of the teams are very very brave to leave open the Aphelios when they're up against psg but looks like liab is going to be a little bit more safe now silas can be still flexed a little bit if they do lock this in could possibly be in three different roles, maybe for Kanji, Rex, or Dodoi. There's a little bit of that mystery when it comes to the draft. So a little bit of flex available. Could also see it for Kanji, like you mentioned. Or maybe if they want to get wacky with Dodoi in a Silas jungle, that would be uh, a little bit more niche than what we usually see coming out of Aaliyah. But let's see what their bans will entail, as that's going to be the Nautilus being banned out. So I want to get rid of something that has heavy engage into that bard before he gets blown up in the early part of the game. We saw that base damage that can come out earlier during some of our earlier teams and their matchups for PSG. Just go ahead and say, all right, let's just target Doi Doi's champ pool. Let's try and just nail him down a little bit. Going to get rid of that Nilly. Hell, we might even see a Trundle or possibly even a Lee Sin ban come out from PSG to really try and hammer home Doi Doi's champion pool. Yeah, the victories that Dodoi has acquired in their two games, which is Berjaya and as well as HQ, those wins were contributed by the fact that Dodoi was on that trundle and as well as many external factors. But yeah, Liab banning out the Thresh and Nautilus just means that, you know, they're willing to face the Leona in the bottom side of the map, which has been the common pair to the Ash, especially the fact that there's an additional single target CC to assist with that, which means, you know, that TF in the mid lane. Here with a Lee Sin getting locked in for Liab, though, we aren't really seeing an exact composition. 
taking place at the moment. We have kind of an Ezreal bard with some poke. And then we have some all-in from a Silas and the Lee Sin. We're not seeing necessarily a true combo. And that's kind of concerning for me on the side of Liab. They're opting in again into these more pokes s style lanes where they're trying to at least manage some of the side lanes as well later as the game goes. And we've seen them just not be able to execute on that. For PSG, they go with what's worked with them before them before. Hanabi going to be picking up a blind pick to Renekton instead of going into the Karma that we saw earlier today. Allows him to pretty much play any matchup rather fine. This, though would be a bit of a change up considering we were pretty sure we sent this cat away to the farm in the last patch. <laughs> okay, guess she makes a return as that's gonna be Kaiwing on the Yumi. Yeah, a little bit nerf when it came to at least patch 10.13. Um, but so far, if the game still progresses, at least that cat is still going to be a very, very annoying heal bot. For Liab though, um, Looks like it's going to be back to Kanji's Urga, which has been picked three times now that they locked it in. All right, so going with the Urgot likely now means that we're going to see the Silas in the mid lane, which I'm trying to remember whether or not Rex actually picked that back in spring. I don't think we saw it too often. So a little bit of a change up here. It does allow him to actually match the Twisted Fate if he wants to by, you know, picking up that Destiny while the roam is happening. So he can answer into the lane that Tank wants to try and make action happen in. But uh, we've seen that uh, sometimes the Silas can just be a little bit inactive, especially in the Galio matchup we saw earlier today. Yeah, sometimes a little bit inactive. Maybe sometimes like the Ziv where, okay, Maybe we don't have that AOE utility. Let's just steal away, steal it away from the enemy team. Might be the case here. So like we mentioned, both of these teams ended up taking the loss earlier today and are looking for their first win of week five. Uh, unfortunately, that does mean though, one of these teams is gonna be ending up 0-2 when it comes to the end of this match, but uh, We'll see for Liab looking for a massive upset. They were able to do it up against AH, AHQ earlier on during summer for PSG. A dominating victory if they want to remain in contention for talks of being a shoe-in for the World Championship from the PCS when it comes to 2020 and see whether or not they can book their ticket to China. Still a long way to go, but we'll see as we go ahead and load on into the rift. It looks like our dolly has broken another <laughs> wheel, so we don't get any fly-throughs of the map. Oh, well. Into the action we go. Oh, well. You know, fighting... Yeah, into the action! Fighting... With, is that a Star Guardian, like, plushie? <laughs> <laughs> is, that a, is that a Little Legend? Is that what they call them right now for TFT? Little Legends, yes. Little Legends. I stopped playing TFT after the first set. 30 seconds. <laughs> it got confusing. <laughs> it got very confusing. Added well, a little galaxies, bit more. Now there's galaxies. You know, there's random That's stuff. That's great, yeah. You know, it gets a little bit confusing. There's a dancing Urgot in the bush right above River. <laughs> you know, Kanji's Mocha's doing there, though. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, come on. We talked about this with <laughs> Rest, by the way. He said, you know, psychological warfare to get into the mm -hmm. minds of your opponent. River knows better. He's not going to get aggressive. And he'll start on his side of the map. No funny business to start things off. Yeah, no funny business. At least, you know, Liab made an attempt. Made sure that Mocha was there just in case that they needed to get that stun in. Possibly force River to burn a flash. Um, but yeah, things are going to be a little bit quiet, except for possibly Liab's side. Uh, they do have that very strong level 3, very strong all-in. If you combine that mid and jungle duo of that Silas pick against tank, um, therefore I'm going to be a little bit afraid, um, considering, again, how much all-in Liab has at the moment. I want to see how active Mocha is going to be on the map this time around, because uh, when we look back toward the comms during the mic check that we saw earlier this week, coming out from Liab. Mocha is actually very talkative when it comes to playing around the map, especially when he's on something like a roamer. It actually looks like that he is kind of the secondary shot caller, kind of the voice of reason for the team's decision-making. 
as Dojo is kind of lead shot caller, and then Mocha kind of goes, is that a good idea? Should we do this? In most, <laughs> like, almost every decision. Even during like bot lane skirmishes, which they actually win, he half the time he's kind of like, I think uh, back is better, no? Like literally what he goes by. Yeah, I think it's great. It's a good balance for Liab, considering the fact that, you know, this Liab squad still has that essence of the go, go, go kind of spirit. So I think it's really great with that sort of balance. Do see very early on, actually, because of that war that was put down early by tank for PSG. They have a good idea, actually, where Doi Doi is alongside the map. And if River wanted to, you can go ahead and get that quick invade onto the Raptors. And not a bad start off here for this group. Yeah, definitely not a bad start. Um, again, we'd like to look into the Rex pick once more. We talked about what they could pick to match tank here when it comes to that map presence, cross map presence, if you will. But they do have that Silas at least to not only steal key ult ultimates coming from the TF, but also at least that final chapter as well if they do need, you know, very strong 5v5 initiation aside from the Tempered Fate. We'll see Dodoy, uh, he's going to run into River here as River says, what are you doing in my jungle? Get out of here. Tank's actually going for a quick uh -oh. roam. Gold card is going to be laid out as well as the wild card's going to connect with the Electrocute. And we'll get Doi Doi to just below half health. Yeah, a little bit tricky there as it's very hard considering the fact that, you know, Tank, of course, in this matchup in particular, does have better clear and has that range to try and poke out Rex, who is now in a very scary but Tank, though. There we go. Level 3, though, coming out from Mocha. That is, of course, going to be the Flash being burned. Not enough, though, as that's going to be First Blood going in favor of Doi Doi. And we were talking about strong level 3, and that's... you mean I mean, Rex wasn't involved in that part, but if you add in Mocha, it's still pretty strong with that Lee Sin. And the fact that Tank was very much pretty advanced in towards the lane and having not to match the back, uh, yeah, Tank had to suffer from that early gank. And there you go. That's what you kind of want to see here. Early levels from Liab. They're able to get a good roam off from Mocha alongside Doi Doi. And you get yourself first blood off this spring champions in the form of PSG Talon. So not half a bad start to start things off here for Liab. Yeah, absolutely. Considering the fact that, you know, Dawn has a cleanse, has is on an Ezreal, has the arcane shift, has every has, have a little bit of a safer lane. Um, in comparison to, you know, the Ash pick that Don usually relies on. Therefore, Mocha has a little bit of room to tag along with Dodoy. Interesting now. Dodoy wants to try and get some pressure toward the top side of the map. Ward does get laid down. I think that's unfortunate timing there for Dodoy, realizing, all right. Well, at some point, Hanabi has to push back, is what he's hoping. But Hanabi's doing very <laughs> well to actually freeze this lane and... Trying to build up a little bit of a CS advantage over Kanji in that top lane, which I think that is our our biggest skill discre dis uh, discre oh my lord difference discrepancy. discrepancy yes I'm trying to use too fancy of words it's getting a little late <laughs> uh, You're the biggest good, skill fam. I think oh you could call the biggest skill difference when it comes into this matchup Hanabi of course has been playing top lane for the majority of his career whereas Kanji only role swapping as as most recently as the start of this year. Yeah, it's absolutely one of those David and Goliath matchups. You know, Kanji not only having to switch from mid lane to top, but also this is his first experience when it comes to, you know, this major tournament in the PCS, oh TF Ulto. TF Ultimate going to be used. It is going to be answered immediately here, though, as Rex wants to try and get back a kill. Still not going to be enough, though. Does force out two flashes on the side of PSG. As Tank makes his first appearance on the Twisted Fate toward the top side of the map. That's the thing. Even though you can steal the Destiny as well and match your presence, Dodoy. Looking for a pick. We're a pick here on Gold tank. Card. Mocha's nearby, and actually that's a nice roam coming out there. No flash available for him as well. And Doi Doi able to find a second kill here as Tank has been left out uh, in the cold by the rest of PSG. <laughs> Doi Doi with the Ascension. Um, but yeah, this is actually perfect because at least for Liab, they're able to make an exchange at least from that kill. So 
Kanji's life in exchange of Tank's life, and therefore having to, you know, feed Dodoy a little bit more, which we've seen so far when it comes to Leeson picks back in spring, is able to, you know, translate that into more kills, especially having to bully out squishy targets like Tank. So nice to see though, we did mention that Dodo and Mocha are going to kind of be this duo that looks to try and roam around the map to try and make things happen. Dawn also being left alone in the bot lane has started to suffer a little bit when it comes to the CS dif difference as uh, it's now going to be about three waves in favor of Unified. But you do see Liab is a pair. They bring down Rex as well and they say, all right, you know what? Let's try and make some action happen as uh, first dragon available for these teams they want to go for it. River actually may be looking for a possible Ooh. invade as Mocha is here to respond. Does see them over toward the side. Oh, no. Able to flash away from the arrow. Was a little bit dangerous. Volley does the land, but oh boy, Doi Doi, oh, he no. goes in maybe a little bit too far. Does have level six. Do they actually want to try and keep on going for this? Rex over the wall, able to not land the chain as Unified is able to get himself back to safety. Okay, tons of flashes are used except for River. Dodoy's flash is about to be up in a few seconds. We got Tank, no destiny, no need. All he has to do is walk back to this river. I'm afraid for Liam. Uh, there comes River over the side of the wall trying to seal it back away, but there you go. Oh, a nice King. combo, and there they go. They take him down. Liam, they get another kill on the board. Kanji went for the teleport, maybe a little bit premature, but still, nonetheless, it is going to be both the dragon as well as the third kill for Liam over PSG. Yeah, Kanji, you know, that teleport's still pretty okay considering the fact that Hanabi had to walk down to the lane. So possibly trying to match numbers. Oh, no. Liab ain't stopping. Unified gets slowed, and there you go. This might be the day. This is maybe what they are looking for as Kanji finds himself his first kill <laughs> on the Ur Urgot. And he might be down almost 40 CS, but he gets himself his first kill. I love it. I love the BM, the thumbs down coming from Dodo every single time. And, you know, the thing is for Unified, he is used to the first 10 minutes of the game, 15 minutes of getting bullied a little bit. And what I fear most of the time whenever Liab gets an early game lead just like this, it's looking great though, um, on how to translate that even more to a win. But yeah. Great steal from Rex to get that crystal arrow, get that stun in, and, you know, River has no escape. And I'm kind of glad for Kanji because he had this teleport, and I was a little bit like, all right, that's a little bit tragic, but they're actually able to turn it into something for him, which I think is a, a big plus at the very least, as Hanabi was going to go ahead and get free turret plating no matter what, and get him now online, even though he was losing out on his matchup, and... Things don't look all that bad if you're a Liab fan right now. Yeah, not at all. It's starting to look very, very promising. Um, Yeah, and for Hanabi, only managed to get one plate at least. So Kanji getting a kill um, is a great exchange to at least from that teleport. And the thing was, Hanabi, after reaching, you know, walking manually towards that river, decided, okay, the fight is over. I have to go back to the lane. Kanji, in the meantime, stayed to get more value off of that. Uh, yeah, he kind of also needs to catch back up on experience as he is almost down two levels to Hanabi. So that's kind of the one little asterisk here is uh, Hanabi has been able to soak up more minions and more experience, uh, which means for Kanji, it's a little bit dangerous in this lane if he stays too close to the action. But it does look like we're going to have ourselves a lane swap coming out of PSG first as they want to try and get some pressure toward the top side of the map for possibly the next Rift Herald that they already actually have in their back pocket. River was able to get that actually, I think, on the back end of the last replay. I'm afraid because Tank already has Destiny up at least, but the fact that he's being shoved in his own tower means that he doesn't necessarily have the space to pull the trigger now. Hawkshot will spot them out though. Hawkshot. Not going to land there as the Tempered Fate goes a little bit wide. Unified not even having to use Flash, doesn't even have it. So that's a little tragic. Mocha's going to want that one back. As uh, for Liev, looking for a set play. I like the idea. Are they stopping, though? Hawkshot does come out. 
final chapter is available for the Yumi, so this might be a rather dangerous dive. You can tell that Kanji's having difficulty uh. actually pushing this in. Kick is going to come out from Doi Doi, jumping on in. There you go. Tank comes on over. Not enough, though. And the double fear into Rex joining Rex? in onto the fight. And there you go. Liab, six kills on the board. They lose out another, but Tank now needs to run for safety. Mocha not able to connect there on the queue. Tank will be at least able to threaten back and force Liab to have to rethink as they are able to find themselves another two kills in the top lane. But look toward bot as Dawn is going to get shoved in as that's going to be the first tower going in favor of Hanabi. They are so not giving PSG a break here. And it's a breath of fresh air considering the fact that Liab has constantly fell back into the, you know, pole heavy composition, sometimes maybe even the scaling composition, but now they are hoping towards getting very active early and hoping to, you know, snowball key members of the team. It doesn't necessarily have to be Dawn, but Topside is just flourishing at the moment. Uh, and that's, this is kind of what you want to see if you're a Liab fan. I will note though, though Liab have themselves a four kill lead, they are still actually down in gold, and that is just due to the lane differences that we are seeing primarily in that top lane matchup. 40 CS. So, for PSG, if Hanabi is part of any of these fights, he's equal to equal out everything. That's kind of the little asterisk here that Liev have to be worrying about, and that's why they're trying to at least force fights before Hanabi joins in on the skirmishes. Yeah, we've seen how Renekton's can go out of control and possibly be the answer against scary backlines. But everybody else pretty much is scary in the form of Dodoi, Hanji, Ad and Rex as well. Already finished a proto belt at least to have a little bit of extra mobility on his kit. And now PSG says, okay, we're going to push mid lane instead. Get Kanji possibly? All right, so Kanji force the flash out to safety as that is going to be actually now the second dragon secured by Leah. it's not all half bad as uh, they'll trade a flash pretty much for the second dragon it does mean for them if they want to try and take dragons off spawn that does mean they could look for a possibly 25 minute ocean soul but Hanabi again, able to find another tower, and you do see that PSG are not slowing down. If anything, they've now been able to find themselves a 1400 gold advantage with the fact that Liab are supposed to be in the lead when you think about it, when they have four extra kills, but the actual just laning has been affected so much. Now Kanji, he's got Destiny. nowhere to run. Destiny comes out, four members of PSG. Doesn't matter that Dragon was taken. They have eyes set on top lane as that is going to be the second tower on top getting taken down. Oh my! Tempered Fate, will there be an, an initiation? Looks like that's a no. Yes, it has been the sad story of Kanji, of having to be camped multiple times against many different instances, against many teams. And for Liab, hoping to sort of exchange that at least to the fact that, you know, Rex is ahead in CS. We've got Dawn not too far away, I suppose, against Unified. So right now, Hanabi is the biggest threat. If Liab is able to neutralize him at the initial point of when a team fight starts, when a skirmish is when a skirmish starts, Liab is a better chance for sure. We'll see if that's going to be the case here. You do have something like Mocha that can use that Tempered Fate to try and slow down some of these fights. We do have, though, second Rift Herald joining us onto the map. So for Liab, maybe can try and use that to knock down some towers for themselves. But you see Hanabi, Angry Alligator, currently sitting on a 2300 gold advantage over his lane opponent. Just solely off CS as well as turret plating. Liab, they fully commit here to ward the Rift Herald. But guess what? Bot side, Hanabi's going to start knocking on your second tier tower. Kanji? Even though he wants to teleport, it's going to be a little bit risky because River is right there in the jungle with Kai Wing. And we talked about this before back in spring. It's the the River and Kai Wing this time around. It's He's not on the Thresh, but he's on a cat. Mocha. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. No. Over the wall they go as, unfortunately, Mocha, wherever he goes, the rest of the squad can follow. And that does include your enemy team. And that does mean now PSG are going to be able to find themselves a quick pickup when it comes to a kill. And 
Though Liab were able to find kills and they were able to try and look for consistent dives, it's starting to see a little bit of the flaws when it comes to their individual laning performances. Rex, though, will be able to at least try and equal things out by picking up a turret of his own, but they're still down about 2,200 gold. Yeah, it's very tough as PSG is having none of it. They are having to match Liab's presence at topside and then just continuing to pursue and restrict Dawn in the bottom side of the map mm -hmm. and even Kanji as well, especially when, when he's all alone. But yes, so far it hasn't been spinning air quote out of control for Liab at least, but so far it has been stable and it has been cleared out. One minute and 30 or so for the next dragon to spawn, so possibly the next fight for both of these teams. And we might be just seeing the calm before the storm here. I feel like next dragon, PSG have now started to see that they might be feeling confident enough to try and go for these plays, but Liab, they themselves aren't afraid to step up to say, hey, PSG, we're not afraid to try and go for some of these plays ourselves as Mocha was hovering toward the bot side of the river. But look at that. Invade going to come out from PSG. Doi Doi, is he going to even contest over here as uh, Hanabi now making his appearance? This is a very scary situation to be in because oh. an instant engage coming out from the Ash might be enough as that's going to be Gold Card also connecting over from Tank. Collateral damage, Ooh. not able to get enough damage itself. Do see, though, Liab are able to escape after a decent amount being used here by the side of PSG. Very scary for Liab. BSG ain't stopping here. They really want this kill. They are prepared. Look at how much Polk Dawn is putting on towards River. But because of Kai Wing on this Yumi, it, it is still being healed in chunks. And I like how we usually talk about Kai Wing being one of those mechanical like support players. Get some nasty <laughs> fresh hooks. And he is on Yumi of all champions right now as Rex <laughs> ends up by landing in on top of that and end up oh kicking no. River so far away that they can't actually catch him out. And now turnaround going to come out from PSG. Gold card lands in on Kanji, another prowling projectile, able to slow him on down. River gets turned on back though as Rex is able to find himself a kill. Mocha able to get Dawn to safety, but unfortunately Hanabi is on the hunt. Sure, you get that stun, but you have to respect the Renekton at this point because that is going to be two kills traded in favor of one on the side of PSG. Great idea for Liab. Unfortunately, an awkward execution. That would have been oh. the best. Hanabi flashing in. Flashing in. Don gets himself to safety. Wild card, oh, though, gets the target. And Mocha has to limp away. And now that the kills have been evened out 7-7, seven to seven, you start to see the true gold advantage for PSG as they now sit almost 4,000 gold ahead of Liab. And it's a... Uh, I did mention earlier, it hasn't snowballed out of control just yet. But now, after the cup, a couple of fights so far that PSG has been winning, it's looking a little bit dire, a little bit familiar for Liab's side. And yes, that will be the first dragon of PSG. I want to look at this again because the idea was there. Unfortunately, oh. the kick just threw River so far. And, you know, the, the final chapter just rooted Dodoy very, very long. A little bit tragic time. there. They do at least get back River, but uh, then, you know, Hanabi is like, ah, oh, thank you, Rex. Uh, you're way too <laughs> far forward, and I'm a super fed Renekton. Nothing to worry about. And then Don, this is tragic. He just gets clipped by the wild cards on his way to safety. Yahanabi circled around, getting that stun in. But yeah, even using every single thing, the magical journey, the flash, the arcane shift, it don't matter with the wild card hitting uh, Don at the very last time. Hey. Arrow? Arrow okay. from downtown, from Unified, looking to connect there on some of the members of Liab. Not going to happen, though, it seems. So Liab are able to at least distance them themselves. Destiny going to be popped here. Are they going to try and go for this? Tank, actually, it's the cat delivery system is now Liab are going to get pincered. They want to try and turn back onto River, and they mm -hmm. actually do as they're able to take down the Graves. A nice job. Tempered Fate lands onto <gasps> two members. Mocha able to find it. Final chapter comes out. Tank gets taken down, but Unified is still healthy on this Ash. Hanabi now and him have to carry back this fight. You can tell Sun is going to land. Hanabi has 
to back off on this Renekton. And in the end, it's going to be two members picked up in favor for Liap. Still a lot of respect, even though they had the numbers advantage. They had the 4v3 situation for Liab. Again, because this is a nasty and huge alligator crocodile, right now 402 has almost 50 CS over Kanji, still not deciding to commit to that. So you do see, though, Liab are aware of when they can punish PSG for getting a little bit too confident in their own positioning for these team fights. Realizing, hey, River, what are you doing there? You are Graves. We can blow you up. You're not all that tanky just yet. And also, beautiful job coming out from Mocha with that Tempered Fate able to isolate those two members and force Kaiwing to have to make a play. Yeah, River didn't even have Kaiwing for a beautiful final chapter since Liab was just all on his face. But instead, it was during this Tempered Fate, it was easy for the rest of Liab to just sidestep that. And his, again, Mocha's Tempered Fate was just beautiful. But again, since they don't have exactly an h shred for this Ezreal oh, Dawn... Oh, no! Gets himself to safety with some extra healing, as well as the shield from Doi Doi. It was saving Private Ezreal at this point. Now Rex himself, <laughs> though. Is going to try and burst down what he can of tank, but unfortunately there is your Yumi into the final chapter. Nothing else that he could do. Try to steal back a destiny, but can't get himself back to safety as PSG again equal out that kill count now nine to nine. Yeah, nine to nine, and yeah, Dodoi is able to save Dawn at least, but then again Rex was the next casualty. Liab though, hoping to push mid lane. Trying to do what they can mid, but let's take a look back. His uh, Rex just, unfortunately, a little bit too far forward for his own liking, especially when he's playing up against something like a Twisted Fate. Yeah, and I don't think there's a lot of vision to work with um, in the jungle of Liab during that time, because I feel like if it was just tank, then React Rex can definitely try to take him on um, when it comes to the 1v1. But yes, it was a collapse from PSG, which, you know, Liab really has to take into account when they do, you know, these 1-3-1s at this point of the game. So back now, we have ourselves our next OG oh no. being spawn, and Mocha getting a little bit too aggressive for his own liking. Maybe that's the flash forward coming out from Tank, only going to land there onto Dodo. You see Unified stepping far forward. Unfortunately, the Dragon Rage not going to connect as Unified able to get the stopwatch in time. Hanabi pops the Dominus, was looking for a flank himself and maybe able to find it if Liab pushed too far forward, but that is a tragic situation to be in if you are Dodo, you're so close to taking down this Ash. We'll see now Rex gonna go ahead and steal away the Dominus himself for that Silas. Still gonna be a 3v5. Liab gotta be careful if they wanna try and fight this. Dodo and Mocha are rotating back on over. They do have that Tempered Fate available from the Bard. They wanna try and go for an engage. Rex is actually Rex? gonna be the one on that front line. Hanvi without an ultimate is kind of vulnerable. River into a choke point. There you go. Tempered Fate wow, onto the back line. Kanji able to to take down River. The shutdown, they get unified. That's what you're looking for. Hanabi over the wall. He gets taken oh. out. And Liab are able to find multiple members. The ace comes through as they take down all of PSG. What a massive turnaround for Liab. And for PSG, they were wanting to get that fight. They were confident heading into that fight, especially Hanabi 5-1-2, but it was so scattered. They've got Dodoi with an amazing kick on towards two members, and PSG is unable to collapse properly. They had to suffer from this, and not only do they lose a lead, but also losing a lot of objectives across the map. Kill lead, rather. And this is very scary now, as, uh, where was this Liab the entire split? You're able to do this up against PSG, the spring champions. Now, to be fair, they almost did this back in spring up against when they were Talon alone. But I have to now question, you know, all right, Liab, this is some growth, all right? 
Last week, you got absolutely stomped by Alpha in 21 minutes. You actually brought them to about 40 minutes and looked decent during it. Now you look like you are accelerating. Sure, the, you know, the lane phase is still a little iffy for Kanji. He's kind of the main component here, but if they're able to take down Hanabi early on during a fight, they have just the natural advantage. And now what can they do with this Baron buff? And then especially Dawn right now, he's at his two item power spike already. He has the executioners just for that anti-healing, at least for the rest of the members with Yumi included in PSG's composition. So yeah, Kanji, despite having to lose a lot of CS in the early stages of the game and being camped a couple of times, he is sitting right now at 4-2-3 at least and you know not exactly having to suffer too much compared to before. So now, Liab, it's still pretty even. Like, this game is gold till this go. <laughs> so I'm still, like, hesitant. I need to see it happen fully as Kanji might get isolated. Gonna get chain CC. They burst down Look Tank. Oh, no! Mocha ended up oh, using no. the twist. The oh, tempered fate before they could kill Tank. Dodoy jumps into the back line, but it's long gone. And Liab, just like that, they had the lead. And they throw it right out the door once again. <laughs> After miscommunication, they do need to temper fate there, Mocha. You could have killed Tank instantly. It was tragic. My head hurts. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, my. Yeah, it was looking perfect for Liab oh. already, but that tempered fate just bought a lot of time for the rest of PSG to do a their setup of their own. And the biggest thing is, Rex wasn't around for that fight, and Dawn was so, so near a lot of PSG um, from the, oh, the, quite near. His position was quite awkward. Therefore, it was so easy for the collapse. It's tragic when Doi Doi is literally in the air for his Q to kill Tank. And he ends uh. up not being able to finish off because of a tempered fate. It can dash the hopes of PSG as well as their own team if not used carefully. So. Uh, small mistake there from Liab. I could say small. That's a rather big one. That could have made this gold lead actually rather marginable in favor of Liab. But now they kind of have to reset. They lose out actually in total when you take a look toward their Baron power play. That is just going to finish up now. They are looking at Ocean Soul, though, in about a minute 45. We'll see whether or not they can secure that. Having that regen during these long fights will help them out. Yeah, definitely going to be helping out, considering the fact that they do have some sort of sustain, at least from the form of the Bard, but it's not exactly as explosive as a Yumi chunky heal. But so far, PSG has established their footing once more after the couple of fights and are able to just crush at least topside tower and as well as take over topside jungle of Liab, which is... A insanely important later on when it comes to getting that Baron control. Oh, no. Um, now they're setting up a camp. Oh, no, oh, Kanji. No. Kanji? Okay. He's you fine. He's still resist. staying in his base. You must <laughs> resist the temptation. Actually, he's, sticking. he's there. Know, for Liab, this is an end of the world. Wait, PSG, they say, we don't even oh, care no. about this. We're just going to try and go for it. Oh, they just go full burst onto Kanji. Liab, they're a little bit late to the party. Sure, Rex is now here going to join on in. But with that minion wave, they're going to be able to take down the tower as well as the inhibitor. And that's a gutsy play, but it pays off for PSG. Yeah, sneaky sneaky. If PSG had information where, you know, Liab was, they were pushing mid lane to set up for the next dragon spawn for that ocean soul. But PSG, okay, you can have that. We will remove top side instead and because vision control isn't exactly you know very rich for liab especially at the deeper parts of top side again you know liab couldn't react um right away for that play and this is such a unfortunately the timing isn't perfect for liab is now kanji does have teleport is going to use it immediately. Mocha, got to be careful toward the side. A nice stun actually onto River as well as Hanabi. Your two main targets you have to worry about when it comes to this Dragon Tank. Going to try and get some pressure. Does not have the destiny to try and go for a wraparound. Once again, Hanabi is able to. Dodoy secures the Ocean Soul. That's what the target you're looking for. Dawn is able to
to get himself back over to safety. River gets taken on down. PSG running for the hill. Severed Fate over onto Tank. That delays the damage output once again for PSG. And Liab are able to secure Ocean Soul. Okay, they're, a they're able to secure. They're not... They don't have a lot of casualties. It's actually on PSG side. They lost River in that encounter. So Liab can just reset, shove the waves, especially top side, prepare for the next objective, which is going to be Baron. That is going to be the next big thing, which I am... It could be the make or break it sort of point for this match's conclusion. We'll take a look back here again, where Doidoi fully committed to this dragon, just says to River, you don't get close enough. I'm kicking you away. I don't want to fight. Yeah, that was uh, very well played. Again, I, I believe River actually used a flash in that, you know, instance just to see if he can get a flash smite in. But unfortunately, it was already too late. And that's the reason why he fell from battle, because it's not a lot of defensive options um, to escape the fight already. Oh, they're, they're fighting oh, again. They want to try and jump in on Hanabi as Tempered Fate lands oh, onto River and Hanabi once again. Mocha a little bit late to the party, though. Cannot get the stun with his Q does main tempered fate is going to be on cooldown for this baron teleport going to come in actually from unify wants to be near on by we'll see if liab can actually do this we have seen this multiple uh -huh. times before with liab when it comes to the baron they have an advantage they have a lead can it pull Hello? off there's your stun in it goes redemption through who's got it it goes on over to liab that's what you're looking for now as rex wants to lead in onto the charge kanji goes back into save this gold card lands in and Unified has to run, but another tag comes through. Unified into stasis. It might actually happen if you're oh. a Liab fan. They take down three and they're looking for more in mid lane. This is an insane fight. Not only getting Baron, but they remove everybody, key players from PSG. This is the replay, or rather, this is what we're seeing at the moment as. Hanabi is able to survive with Kai Wing at least, but that's Baron buff and a lot of death timers on the side of PSG. And they're still going. They don't care. <gasps> they know this is their opportunity to find the upset of the century, the upset of the summer split. They take down Hanabi. They take down Kai Wing. Inhibitor's going to get shot. And there you go. Minion wave into the base. And Liab, they set the game on fire once again with the upset over Spring Champions, PSG Talon. What a finish. It started with Liab. We were all a little bit worried. It might end up in the same old story, getting ahead early and then losing the match, but it didn't happen. And right now, it is especially against the PSG Spring Champions. I am... I'm happy. This is what a plot twist. We out fans are probably like crying, Ooh. crying with tears of joy. For sure. <laughs> How? How did Liab just pull this off? I don't have a voice anymore. I was too excited yeah. to see Liab actually pull off literally the upset of the bloody century <laughs> when it comes to summer. Oh my lord. Yeah, and so, we were talking about, yeah, like, okay, so Liab didn't have to win, that's fine, but here we are. <laughs> they didn't it's have great. to win. I didn't yeah. think they were going to win. I don't think a lot of people thought they were going to win. Nope. But damn, there you go. It's going to be, again, they got the upset over HQ now. We talked about Hong Kong Attitude being Kingslayers. Never mind, Liab now have upset HQ as well as PSG. And that win alone right there might be a difference maker whether or not this team makes it into playoffs. Yeah, every single point counts. Imagine what happened in spring. They were one win away when it came to reaching that playoffs mark against HQ. But yeah, it's like, you know, Liab has a, like a hit list, okay. PSG down once, HQ down once, maybe, you know, Machi would be next. I don't know. The top three. <laughs> I don't know. Anything's I don't, possible now. I, here's my question. I don't know <laughs> if this is a PSG that is tilted this week. I, I legitimately don't know, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the highlights back from that one. Liab able to find the upset over the Titans that were PSG talent. And 
Well, playoffs are a real possibility. And the thing was, before we went over to this match, we were questioning what would be the identity of Leah. Do they still want to go for the usual scaling and then fight 5v5? Or they gonna, they do want to go ahead and be active early. They did both, and it worked out. And with that too, Rex going to be MVP this time around. <laughs> Ecstatic was able to pick up... Uh, more Destiny ults and I think we saw a tank as uh, was always able to match him and that's kind of what you want to see from a Silas player when going up against a mid laner with a global ultimate and uh, oh boy this is not Ooh. what I expected to say the very least there. Congratulations on over to Liam Esports as well as Rex picking up his MVP and now I am so excited to see what Wards has in store for us when it comes to this week <laughs> let alone just day one of the action. That's just day one. Liab has still a couple of matches to look forward to. And, you know, this is definitely going to be a good morale booster, not only a learning experience, considering the fact that this is their third win in the sec for the entirety of the round robin stages so far. So, yeah, what a win. What a day. Oh, what a match. I You're speechless. <laughs> I still can't. I, okay, I don't Are have a dreaming? voice. It's kind of the issue right now. I don't know. The tie caster next to me is saying, what the hell did I just witness? <laughs> but to say the very least, you witnessed the upset. Liab able to take down the spring champions when it comes to the PCS. And like we mentioned, the upset kings it may be from the Philippines. They are still alive when it comes to their playoff hopes. We're going to go ahead and take a short break, though. When we come back, it's our final game of the night. Rajaya Dragon is taking on Resurgence. CDBC Bank is Taiwan's top financial institution. But we're not stopping there. We're crafting an international brand and already have over 260 outlets in 14 countries. We are by your side, ready to embrace the future.